hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be making a pretty pink pastel wig so we're gonna be using two um pastel well pink pastel colors we're gonna be using the adore brand and mixing it with the kiss i like how both them um both of these colors look together so hi guys we're gonna be using <laughs> lola wants to say hi guys we're gonna my channel we gonna make a wig water challenge color yeah we're gonna be using um four bundles of 20 inches 613 hair this is from my hair collection um if you want a custom made wig you already know where to go if you've been following me for a while or if you have me on instagram my instagram is bria mia wigs and my website where you can purchase custom made wigs is briamiawigs.com i'm gonna start selling bundles too but you can pre-order them so, but yeah, let's get back into the look. So I already did one bundle. And this is the result I got. How pretty is that? I'm going to dye it a little bit again because I still want to be a little bit more pink here. But this is the pink that I've gotten. So let's just get to it, guys. We're going to add in. I didn't add in that much water. Lola, where's my stick? I don't know. I can see it. No, I had one here. Um, oh, this is no. This is bigger. So now I just boiled a pot of um water. That's why you see the um the water that's in the um bucket like steaming out hot like that because it was on the stove top. So you want to make sure every single time you do watercolor, you have to boil the water or it has to be the water has to be steaming piping hot or else what's going to happen when you dip your closure or frontal in that water, it's going to color your lace. And even though you can fix it with, you know, when you tent the lace, I still don't want it to be colored pink. So that's why the water is steaming hot um, coming out of the bucket like that. So at this point, you're just going to see me like using my knife and mixing the solution up. And you can notice in the bucket, I don't have that much water. So if you want the color to be extremely pigmented, you do not want to add. I've done it before. I've made that mistake adding too much water and I had to re-dye it too many times. So that's how I got my bundles to come out pretty like, you know, pigmented in different colors, less water and it has to be super hot. So at this point, I'm just like dipping it in, um, making sure that and leaving it in there too and making sure that it's like highlight low light ombre that's the look i really wanted So here you could see me like trying to like take the water out of the closure, like wring it out. But the water again, I told you was boiling, so it was really hot. Um, so do not do that because you'll burn your hands. I kind of burnt mine. But you'll see how nice and pretty the color is. Like it's a little ombre. I like that look. That's the effect that I was kind of going for. And you can see that the lace is not pink. So that's the goal. The lace is not pink. That's always a plus. So look at that pretty color, guys. Now we're moving on to doing the bundles. So all you have to do is repeat the same steps that you did when dyeing the closure. Just add in more hair dye, mix it up, and just go in and dipping. And then once you finish dipping, just leave it in there for a while so the whole bundle can soak up all that color. And of course, it's going to take time. I have four bundles, so don't rush. You know, watercolor is pretty easy, but you want it to come out with that ombre effect. So don't rush. Dip in the bottom first. Keep dipping it in and leaving it in, of course, the longest amount of time, depending on how dark you want it. And then place the rest of the bundles in that water and just leave it there for a good couple minutes. Take it out. Check it. If it's not the color that you want, do it again and just keep redoing it until you get the color that you're satisfied with.
so now we're all done so you see the different variations of pink that we have throughout our bundles um it's not going to be in this video but you see this light light pink bundle right there you'll notice when i'm talking about the lightest pink bundle i had to go back and just make that bundle a little darker but it came out very pretty um i know you guys like it on instagram so <laughs> that's the finished look guys and you see it here you see the different um highlights low lights and the ombre effect it's like really pretty thanks for watching guys subscribe thumbs up bye